Hi, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, and with me today is Assemblymember Steve Bradford. Thank nice to have you here. I'm Thank doing you. well. Thanks so much. Uh, you're pushing a bill right now that really, uh, you hope, will give folks who've done some time behind bars a, a real chance at coming back and being productive citizens of our society. Um, explain, first of all, what the challenge is for these men and women who've done time, who've been in jail and prison, and come back and try to get their lives together. Okay. Uh, the bill is AB 1384. Uh, it's an expungement bill. And what we're finding out in this tough economic time and this job market, uh, with almost 12% in California, the biggest impediment for employment outside of this just tough economy is people with previous uh, criminal records. That's the biggest roadblock to these individuals becoming productive members in society. And currently California has the highest recidivism rate of over 70 uh, percent recidivism in the nation. So uh, this is a way to close that revolving door and give these individuals opportunity for full employment. But even before we had uh, an unemployment problem, wasn't there or has there always been this ne negative stereotype on people who've, who've done time? Yes, uh, there's been surveys done and um, most employers, 60% of most employers stated that they would not hire someone with a previous conviction, even if that was a misdemeanor conviction. And this uh, bill, all it does is expunge misdemeanor convictions, not felonies. Now, would this also impact uh, individuals who have repeated had issues or only a one time? Uh, it's, you have to show clear re rehabilitation. You have to show that once you've been out of prison, you have been a model citizen. You can have one, you know, transgression, but over a period of time, you show that you have been a productive member, having uh, run afoul of the law, you uh, should be eligible for uh, this expungement. And it's totally up to the judge again. Right, because a lot of people are gonna say, well, this guy's been in jail three or four times. There's, a, there's clearly a pattern here, yet, I don't see anything on his record. So it's not like you're going to be taking a risk on someone who does have a chronic problem. No, that's that's not what we're trying who we're trying to help. That individual clearly has a real problem. We're trying to uh, help the folks who have done their time, have been productive uh, citizens right. but just can't find employment and this has been the biggest roadblock to them. Now, I would assume you don't paint everybody with a broad brush. I mean, there will be some people who've committed certain crimes that may not qualify under what, this. Without a doubt. We don't broaden the discretion right now that the judge has. The only difference, again, a judge can expunge any misdemeanor record that led to probation. All this does is leave those same classifications of crimes. But if you went to jail, say you did a misdemeanor uh, shoplifting and you got 90 days, you now can be eligible prior you couldn't have been. Right. And, and I want to make it very clear here. We're talking misdemeanor, misdemeanor not felony. Not I felonies, mean, these are two different all. things. And I think some people might think, well, what if there was a, a, a child molester who did time? Would, would that person be no. expunged? And even misdemeanor, there are some misdemeanor uh, sexual offenses. Those don't qualify either. Those are not included in this bill. What kind of support are you getting for this? Because I would assume there's some people who would say, you know what? I, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, uh, we're getting broad-based support. ACLU, ASME, the California DA's Association, LA County uh, District Attorneys. The DA's. Uh, yes, yes, uh, LA County DA's. Uh -huh. uh, and I, and I, 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 I'm mistaken, not the California DA's Association, but LA County District Attorneys, uh, California Public Defenders, uh, a lot of legal uh, arms, uh, ACLU, uh, they're supporting this bill. It's a common sense bill. And because if you put these folks back to work, the chances that they're going to commit a crime again reduced uh, tremendously, I tremendously. Would assume. All these folks want to do is go to work and be productive citizens. We've and all made one mistake. We all have. Yeah. And this is just a second chance. Exactly. Assemblymember Steve Bradford, thanks for being here. Thank thanks you. for letting us. We'd like to know what happens with that bill. Let us know. And thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. And remember, you can always catch this interview as well as others by simply going to My Government On Demand, and you're going to find that on Channel 1.